Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. and Mommy Bar. I hope you're using this time to read some great books and continue your learning. I wanted to share two books from one of my favorite authors, Robert Munch. At the end of this, the two readings, I want you to write an opinion writing piece telling me which one is your favorite book. Is it Pigs or is it Wait and See? When you have finished your assignment, please post it on your teacher's chosen platform. Keep learning and have a great day. The first book I'm going to read is Pigs by Robert Munch and illustrated by Michael Marchinko. Megan's father asked her to feed the pigs on her way to school. He said, Megan, please feed the pigs, but don't open the gate. Pigs are smarter than you think. Don't open the gate. Right, said Megan. I will not open the gate. Not me. No, sir. No, no, no. So Megan went to the pig pen. She looked at the pigs. The pigs looked at Megan. Megan said, these are the dumbest looking animals I have ever seen. They stand there like lumps on a bump. They wouldn't do anything if I did open the gate. So Megan opened the gate just a little bit. Urgh. The pigs stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Megan said, these are the dumbest looking animals I have ever seen. They stand there like lumps on a bump. They wouldn't even go out the door if the house was on fire. So Megan opened the gate a little bit more. Urgh. The pigs stood there and looked at Megan. They didn't do anything. Then Megan yelled, hey, you dumb pigs. The pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 and out the gate. When Megan got up, she couldn't see the pigs anywhere. She said, uh-oh, I'm in big trouble. Maybe pigs are not so dumb after all. Then she went to tell her father the bad news. When she got to the house, Megan heard a noise coming from the kitchen. It went, oink, oink, oink. That doesn't sound like my mother. That doesn't sound like my father. That sounds like pigs. She looked in the window. There was her father sitting at the breakfast table. A pig was drinking his coffee. A pig was eating his newspaper. And a pig was peeing on his shoe. Megan! yelled her father. You open the gate! Get these pigs out of here! Megan opened the front door a little bit. Urgh. The pig stood and looked at Megan. Finally, Megan opened the front door all the way. Urgh. She yelled, Hey, you dumb pigs! The pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Whap, 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 and out the door. Megan ran outside, chased all the pigs into the pig pen, and shut the gate. Then she looked at the pigs and said, You are still dumb like lumps on a bump. Then she ran off to school. Just as she was about to open the front door, she heard a sound. Oink, oink, oink. She said, that doesn't sound like my teacher. That doesn't sound like my principal. That sounds like pigs. Megan looked in the principal's window. There was a pig drinking the principal's coffee. A pig was eating the principal's newspaper. And a pig was peeing on the principal's shoe. The principal yelled, Megan, get these pigs out of here. Megan opened the front door of the school a little bit. The pigs didn't do anything. She opened the door a little bit more. The pigs still didn't do anything. She opened the door all the way and yelled, 
Hey, you dumb pigs! The pigs jumped up and ran right over Megan. Wop, 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 and out the door. Megan went into the school. She sat down at her desk and said, That's that. I finally got rid of all the pigs. Then she heard a noise. Oink, oink, oink. Megan opened her desk, and there was a new baby pig. The teacher said, Megan, get that dumb pig out of here. Megan said, dumb? Whoever said pigs were dumb? Pigs are smart. I'm going to keep it for a pet. At the end of the day, the school bus finally came. Megan walked up to the door, then heard something say, oink, oink, oink. Megan said, that doesn't sound like the bus driver. That doesn't sound like a pig. She climbed up the stairs and looked in the bus. There was a pig driving the bus, pigs eating the seats, and pigs lying in the aisle. A pig shut the door and drove the bus down the road. It drove the bus all the way to Megan's farm, through the barnyard, and right into the pig pen. Megan got out of the bus, walked across the barnyard, and marched into the kitchen. She said, the pigs are all back in the pig pen. They came back by themselves. Pigs are smarter than you think. And Megan never let out any more animals. Well, at least not any more pigs. The end. I hope you like that, boys and girls. That was The Pigs by Robert Munch. The next book I'm going to read is Wait and See by Robert Munch, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, boys and girls, I have read two books by my favorite author. The first one was Pigs, and the second one was Wait and See. Now, I have provided an outline for you to use while you do finish your writing assignment. Give me your opinion. Which one is the best book? Was it Pigs? Or was Wait and See your favorite book? So the first part of the outline is the introduction. State your opinion. I gave you a hook. Wow, I've read the best book. In my opinion, and then state your book, is the best book ever. The next part of your writing is the body. You're going to give me three reasons why Pigs is your favorite book. Give me one reason why, second reason, and your third reason. When you finish the body, then you're going to give me a conclusion. That's when you restate your opinion. Gave you an example. In conclusion, Pigs is the best book ever. Okay? So when you finish your assignment, make sure that you upload it to your teacher's platform. Don't forget, tell me which book is your favorite. Was Pigs your favorite book or was Wait and See? I hope you enjoyed this assignment. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you. And just keep learning. Hope to see you soon. Bye.